Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to adjust layouts in Movie Magic scheduling. And the first thing I want to talk about is banners. So we go over here to create a banner, day one. And what you'll notice is that it automatically makes it left aligned. Now in order to make it centered, it's not as intuitive as you might think. So we're going to go up to Design, Strip Layouts, Horizontal C, we're going to click this little guy right here and center here. OK. Save it. And that will center all your banners. So I might create a little company move here. I might add a couple other banners like the sunrise, 7 a.m., sunset, 7, 30 p.m., whatever exact time it is. And then what we want to do is make some adjustments in this overall layout. So let's go up to design strip layouts again. And sometimes people use the time feature. I personally don't, depending on the project. But I love to see how many background are in each scene. So I'm going to bring in element summary. And you can do this for a variety of things. Like you could do it for vehicles, or you could do it for VFX, whatever you want. Um, it just really depends on what pertains to your show. I'm going to draw a little box here, background. Under the element summary, I click background actors, suppress zero totals, and I want the count there. Okay. If I click save. And what you're going to see is that there is no background here that we have five on this scene, we have 10 on this scene, seven, six, and four. And this helps me to know that, okay, I need to shoot out this background during this time, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other thing I want to adjust in this layout is I want to get rid of this sheet number because really nobody cares about that. So let's go back to our strip layouts. I'm going to delete, delete. It's one less thing to look at. And finally, one thing that I want to add in here for this particular layout is the script day. So I want to know what day we're shooting so that when we're changing wardrobe and makeup, we can be all on the same page. Okay, so we're going to move over some stuff. And really, you can do this however you want. I'm just showing you one example of how to make updates to this. We're going to bring in the script day element here. Going to adjust that a little bit here. Going to play around with the font size, make this nine point font, make it fit for our purposes. Let's see. Because sometimes if the font's too big, it just won't work the way you want it to. And you may have to trial and see what it's coming out to. Okay, so so now what what you can see is that these are all script day one. So nobody has to change wardrobe on, on that particular day. But if you come down here, we're gonna see that this is flashback one, flashback one. Now see how it's butting up against the line here? We'll go back to that strip layout to make some more adjustments to give it a little bit of more space. Let's save that and see how that fixed that right there. Now, obviously, you can you can create changes however you like, but this is just one example of how to update a strip layout. 